I just got another new box. Let's see what we got today. The packaging is kind of odd. Okay. A little bit ad hoc. It appears to be another Sterling engine. Cutter. Let's see. Oh, they got this thing tape on the bottom. Oh, no tape. Okay. Well, it's shiny. And it's gold. Wow. Okay. Hey, uh, a little different Sterling engine. Okay, this is something. I don't know what that is. Um, LEDs. Some, oh, this must be the wick material for the burner. Uh, burner sits on there with a magnet. I see. Okay. And... Yeah, okay. Let's uh, do a close-up. Take a look around it. So what we have here is, first of all, we have the base, and the base apparently has, there's a sticker on it. You can see on the bottom, this is not the color of the metal. It's kind of a, uh, whatever, it's got a gold sticker on it, so I'm not sure how long that will last. Uh, flywheel, standard flywheel, pretty heavy duty. Uh, the generator, I'll have to do a separate video on the generator output. Um, over here is the can. And I think this cap is supposed to be the cover for that. Steel cylinder for the heat. And over here is glass and glass. Uh, pistons. Okay, on the other side, go around. And we have the generator, the fan belt. One connecting rod, another connecting rod. The, this rocker arm. Another connecting rod, another piston. Okay, so uh, that's, this is the displacer, this is the power piston. Okay, I guess uh, next step is to run it and uh, see how she runs. Okay, this is the first running of this. It's running, it's hot anyway, the fire's running. Oh, huge fire. Let me get my windbreak. Save some time of that. I'll put another windbreak here. It's running, it's hot. Now it's thinking about it. This one is very stiff. There we go. Okay. Running and moving. This thing vibrates pretty well. It's, uh, it's got a huge flame, and compared to the others, they had small wicks. And this is a huge flame. I don't think it's going to run very long on the... I didn't fill the can all the way up. In fact, I barely filled it up. But, uh... Yeah, this one you have to secure, because otherwise it moves around by itself. You gotta watch out for alcohol as a fuel because as you can see, you can't see it, that's the problem. So I'm gonna get my hand there. there. Yeah. That's really 
side rating. I think that the flame is just too big. I think like a smaller wick and whatever and get the speed down would help a lot. But it also seems the flywheel's out of balance. As you can keep seeing, this, even my bricks won't contain this thing, so the danger of this is if you're running on a tabletop, it'll run off and, you know, fall over where it's going to set something on fire. Or just here on the back porch, it can scoot across the back porch and like into some boxes or whatever and set the whole house on fire. So, um, yeah, I mean, with any of these things, you have to take care that you are using liquid fuels and there's all these fire uh, risks, but... Uh, but this thing, it's really vibrating. It's, um, yeah, it wants to march across here. It's just, just going to push its way through anything I put in front of it. Another issue is with this one is this fuel can gets really hot to the touch. And with alcohol fuel in there, this could easily start boiling and you'd get a runaway. So I think I would not use their... Uh, their burner. I think I would find something else. Uh, but yeah, with all this vibration and everything, this there's a few hazards here with this one. Yeah, it's cooling down finally. Okay. So, uh, just a note of caution. Okay, let's take a measurement of this. I'm warming it up a bit. Um, I shut it down to hook up everything, go get my meter. And We'll see how many watts this is producing. First, we'll start with volts. She's getting there. Here we go, come on. Run, run, run. Okay, three volts, three and a half volts. Looks like about in the three-ish. 30 point something. Let's look at milliamps. Switch over. Mm, about 36 milliamps. So it's not going to be a whole lot different than the other one I did. Uh, 38 milliamps, 39 milliamps. Um, let's see how many amps. We'll let it run back up a bit. See what it's going to sustain. Yeah, let's call it yeah, 44, 45, 45. Looks like it'll hold 45. Okay, let's go back to volts. See if that's changed any. Whoa, come back here. Kind of running away. Um, yeah, it looks like in the four volt range it's bouncing around a lot. Um, might call it four and a half volts, but we'll do the calculations. It looks like it's going to be about 0.1214 watts, somewhere in that range. Okay, well that's it for this Sterling engine. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home experimentation. <laughs>